Look, guys, I'm still going to watch it. <laughs> the Snyder Cut movie is supposedly, uh, I think according to Zack Snyder from the Vero app, his new favorite app. It is going to be a four-hour movie now versus being a mini-series. I have some, some thoughts about this. I'm obviously a supporter of the Snyder Cut. We both are. Very much looking forward to it. I was planning on reacting to the mini-series as well. It's going to be really hard to cut down a four-hour reaction, I'll tell you that. <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> Sit there for four hours in these Look. chairs. Oh boy, oh, <laughs> my back hurts. Get ready for a four. That's that's the only reason I don't want it to be a four-hour movie. The reactions <laughs> themselves will be a mini series. <laughs> we'll just break it up. Well, I have to be. There's some good things about this and some bad, and some things that I think could be bad from it. I don't want to say they're definitively bad. I do have some thoughts, and I I did want to share them before talking about some Spider-Man three photos. It was always supposed to be a movie to begin with. It, the original vision was not to be a mini series. It was supposed to be a film that you experience in the theaters. And then here to make it a four hour movie is essentially getting the version of Zack Snyder being able to complete Justice League, being told to trim down Justice League. That goes out in the theaters. Then we get the extended cut of Justice League, which would be this version right here. <laughs> you know, the extended director's cut when everyone's like, man, those extended director's cuts of Zack Snyder's are always so much better. And that's what this four hour version would be. Do you guys follow me on that? Do you follow me on that trajectory yeah, there? So. Yeah, yeah, I think I get to it. <laughs> if there was no Joss Whedon involvement, he was able to do whatever necessary reshoots he needed to do. Then they were like, all right, it's still a little too long, trim it down. Then they put it out and then we get the extended cut and it would be this one. That to me is like, okay, this feels like the original vision then. Even though he's been doing a little bit of minor reshoots here and there, throwing the Joker in there, yada, yada, yada. It still feels like this is the original way it's meant to be viewed. The thing that had me kind of curious about it being a mini series presented itself with its own option obstacles that I was very baffled by too. You know when people watch a, a good season of television, say like Breaking Bad for example, and they go, man, it's like watching a really long movie. It's like watching a really long movie. I'd say the feeling of that is valid. I'd say the feeling that it feels that way is very true, but it's not in a hundred percent true because each episode still needs to stand on its own as a complete thing and it needs to end in a way. Each episode needs to have an ending that makes you want to come back for next week. I think if you just cut up a four hour movie without definitive solid cliffhangers that make you want to tune in next week, or even if you're binging it, because I think the plan was to release it week by week, but if they were even to release it as just, a, you know, all, all available right now, which I don't think they would have done, you still need to have good cliffhangers. Then that involves tweaking the Snyder Cut. Then that involves changing up structure because you need to make sure that each episode feels complete. Because I think we actually run into this argument with not like it's I don't think it's the majority of fans per show but I've even heard it with WandaVision lately I heard it with the first two episodes of The Mandalorian man where's the show going what's taking this so long and, and everyone's like just wait through wait for all the episodes the to come out the story's not <laughs> done that's how these work and I think for the Snyder Cut it would definitely present itself with that discussion. If you have a four part mini series and the episodes don't end in a way that feel like I wanna come back next week because of the fact that it wasn't meant to be a mini series to begin with. <laughs> so you'd have to structure it a little different. I don't know if it naturally presented it that the way. I think there's a major difference between a season of television feeling like a big movie versus cutting up a movie into several <laughs> chunks <laughs> and then making yeah. episodes feel incomplete, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's actually how I I watched the extended cut of Batman v Superman, and while I did find that every 45, 50 minutes you could sort of make your own little cut point and it would, you know, make for a coherent episode, but that you know has something after it, it does make me wonder because, yeah, also this is a very niche, even though Zack Snyder has proven himself to have a very dedicated fan base, part of me wonders too if maybe delivering it all in one chunk is a better case for the movie because somebody taps into the first install decides it's not for them or whatever, they might not come back. Whereas if it's just one big chunk, you might have people willing to sit it out and see how this all culminates in one big long go or something like that, you know? That's fair, but then I think that also opens the door for the bad side of things, mm -hmm. which is I think less people will watch it now. It's a four hour move, it's mm -hmm. four hours. That makes no difference for me for you, mm. for a lot of you guys, <laughs> for Snyder Cut fans. When AT&T is like throwing down an investment in this, in my mind, I'm thinking most people are not gonna wanna watch a four hour movie. I just don't think most people are gonna wanna do it. I mean, remember when The Irishman came out and that was like a three and a half hour film? Now, granted, Justice League, in terms of it being like 
a film with action scenes and stuff should be more exciting <laughs> as opposed to a three and a half hour straight drama of a bunch of like uh, old actors. Aging <laughs> <Yeah>. actors. <laughs> yeah. I mean, once you pass the three hour mark, you immediately start getting people, general mass audiences, not just film lovers. I know there's gonna be some people already who come out there and go, well, the Snyder Cut's not meant for everyone. The Snyder Cut's not meant for all those people who um, don't care about the Snyder Cut movement. I mean, that's fair. It got to the point where it's at because of the hardcore fans. So the hardcore fans will be undoubtedly satisfied with a four hour version. And I think they might even want more than a four hour version, Six right? Hour version. <laughs> I think they'd be okay with that. Yeah. I think in terms of the future of Zack Snyder films with DCEU, which I know that there's been back and forth about like, is he really done? Is he really not done? I feel like less people will watch it. Streaming numbers don't often release what their viewership is on it. So they could come out and say this film was a hit or didn't really perform as well or something. But at the same time, I'm, they're also releasing Godzilla vs. Kong in March now. And yep. I don't know if that's an implication of anything. I don't know if that means that, oh, we don't really have faith in the Snyder Cut as much as we once did. So let's put out Godzilla vs. Kong in the same month as well now. Or are they just trying to create some big momentous streak? Because we'll have two great big things on our hands. Your mind can go either direction on this. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. And, and then I'll just end it with saying that I think that with the Snyder Cut, I want more people to watch this. I think it would be it'd make it more of, a, of an event type of thing if more people did watch it. And I just think less people, other than the hardcore fans or the comic book fans or even the ones who are super cynical that want to check it out. I think if you're someone who's kind of just a casual viewer, you might just be like, it's four hours. I don't want to watch that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it really solidifies <laughs> just how niche it is. And I have to imagine that they didn't spend 70 million extra dollars on this only for the diehard Zack Snyder fans. They yeah. probably did that hoping to cast a wider net and that's the one thing that keeps me coming back to that whole cul-de-sac comment they made about the Snyder Cut. I feel like if they had combined this with the Godzilla release and kept it a miniseries, that to me would say, we want HBO Max to bring in so many more people, we're gonna double up. Whereas this, making it just one chunk of a movie, yeah, I think you're right. It sort of does take down the event status and it takes down the reach a little bit. And so then it makes it almost feel like they are perhaps trying to make up for this or something. Because also, Ray Fisher controversy has only gotten louder in the past couple weeks. And I have to imagine that that's affecting whatever is uh, going on with the film as well, whether, you know, Zack Snyder likes that or not, you know? I just think that even if you were going to release the miniseries, HBO Max could have experimented with, all right, you know, this is an original HBO Max exclusive. Let's make it a miniseries format. Let's put it all out at once. I think you, yeah. would, I think you would get more people Do to that. watch it. Yeah. yeah, I think you would get more people to watch your four-hour miniseries. The less work people have to yes. do, when, yes. when they don't have to make the decision of, is this a good time to pause it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you could cut it up into chunks, they're easily discernible. Then you also get the people who will be like, okay, well, I'll try out 45 minutes yeah. of this in a place, yeah, that is designated to stop so it won't leave me with a million confusions and, afterwards. And I weirdly feel like as people constantly bitch about, oh, it's three to four hour movie, but then they'll binge watch a series in a day. For like or, eight hours. Right? <laughs> and so I weirdly feel like if you put it in a miniseries, format and you just release it all at once absolutely you're actually more likely to get people to watch the whole thing yeah, yeah. It, 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 I really it, it, wonder, on that day yeah, I what I'm saying. really yeah. wonder if behind the scenes they have really turned around on the business side like the AT&T WB side if they have really kind of pulled out again on this because it seemed like up until this news it was pretty gung-ho it's pretty much like let's boost this as yeah. big as we can and now yeah I'm, I'm not sure I don't know guys I mean we're gonna watch it anyway. I just wanted to do the best I can do. That's yeah. it. That's all I want. That's all I want. This video is not an attack video. This video is not a drama video. It's just a slight concern. Yeah, especially after they made <laughs> such a big deal out of this being a miniseries yeah. of DC Fando. Like, you know, they made a big announcement about it. So it is kind of interesting also that there are just not many details about why this changed, you know? Well, guys, are you for it? Do you want it to be a four hour miniseries? Do you want it to be a four hour movie? Does not really make a difference to you? Leave your thoughts down below. Subscribe. Click that notification bell, hit that like button. Catch you guys soon.